Hello my friends, I hope you're doing super duper wonderful and in today's video I'll show you how you can unlock the magic of Parpon animations. And one of the main keys to unlock the magic of Parpon animations is using animation delays. As you can see we have the start text box flying around on the slide and there are a couple of other text boxes following this start text box. And all of these animations are possible thanks to animation delays. And I'll show you how we can create all of these animations step by step in this video. And before we jump into the world of PowerPoint, here is one more awesome animation example that was made thanks to animation delays, motion paths and spin animation. Super duper awesome. Ok my friends, so let me turn into Harry Potter and let me show you how you can create those magical PowerPoint animations. So let's start with this animation which looks like this. Once you will learn how to create this animation, you will be able to create your own awesome custom magical PowerPoint animations. Alright my dear friends, so let's jump into our tutorial slide and let's start creating. And the first thing that we have to do is to insert a text box. So let's just do exactly that, let's go to insert and let's click on text box. And now let's just type in anything that we wish, for example start, that's beautiful. Now let's make sure that the text is center aligned inside of the text box and now let's move this text box a little bit upwards so that we have more space for the animation. And by the way, for my text, I'm using Obera font, very beautiful, futuristic looking font, font size 138. If you'd like to use this free font, link is in the video description. Alright, and next, let's change the text color to black and let's add some gray outlines to this text. Ok, looking good and now let's duplicate this text box a couple of times, let's make sure that we have 7 copies in total. And now let's select the last text box and let's turn it to white, that's good. And now let's jump into the selection pane and let's give proper names to our beautiful text boxes. So the white text box will be our top level text and for the rest of the copies I'm just naming them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And next let's make sure that all of these text boxes are nicely sitting on top of each other. Alright, and now while all of the animations are still selected, let's go to animations and let's add a motion path animation. And let's look for motion path animation called shapes, here it is, let's click on it. And by default PowerPoint has inserted a circle motion path a shape animation which is absolutely fine with me, you can choose other shapes if you like. Let's go with circle, I think it works the smoothest. And as you can see our motion path circle doesn't look like a circle, it looks more like an egg. But you can just right click, choose edit points and you can create a perfect circle if you wish. I'll just undo that and let's go with an egg, because it's cool as well. And now let's just make sure that all of the animations are starting in the correct order in the animation pane. So the top text box should be in the first place, then the first copy, the second copy and the sixth copy is the last, ok? And I'm setting all of these animations to start with previous, which means that all of these animations will play automatically once we play the presentation. And now in the effect options, let's make sure that we have smooth start and smooth end of one second, auto reverse activated and repetition until the end of slide. Let's smash that ok button and let's check it out on the full screen what we have created so far. And now, as you can see, it looks like as if only the white text box is moving, but actually all of the text boxes are moving at the same time. And to fix it, all we have to do is just to add some animation delays. Let's leave the top text animation as it is, but for the second animation, let's add a delay of 0.05 seconds. Now for the next one, let's add 0.11 seconds. Delay for the third one, 0.18 seconds. Now for the next one, 0.27 seconds. Now for the fifth uh, copy, let's add a 0.37 second delay and for the last one, let's add a 0.5 second delay. And now each of the animations is starting just a little bit later than the previous animation. And now we should see all of the text boxes flying on the screen. Skadoosh my friends, now we can see all of the animated text boxes on the screen. That's looking beautiful. And of course feel free to use any animation delays that you like, just experiment and see what you get. And now let's add a beautiful cyan glow to our white text box and to save some time let me jump to my previous slide, let's hit Ctrl Shift C to copy the style from that text box, let's select our white text box and hit Ctrl Shift B to paste the style. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And let me as well grab the style of those text boxes that are hiding below the top level text box and let's apply this beautiful style to our text boxes 1 to 6. 
Ok my friends, let's check out those animations once again on the full screen and as you can see those text boxes for Cyan look are looking even more magical. And to make this light even more fun, let's add a little animated 3D model of a spaceship. Resize and rotate your 3D model any way you wish and now let's jump into animations and let's add a swing 3D model animation. Let's move the 3D model animation to the top of the animation pane list, let's make sure it starts with previous duration 2 seconds. And now in the animation options, let's make sure that we add a smooth start and smooth end of 1 second, auto reverse activated. For the direction I'm using right and for the intensity let's go with strong. And now in the timing tab let's go with the repetition until the end of slide. Alright, and now we have a little spaceship or a robot that is moving our text. Ok my friends, let's duplicate our tutorial slide and let's try out one more thing. And on this slide let's just distribute all of these text boxes vertically just like that and by the way we can select all of these text boxes, go to shape format, align and distribute vertically and this way we'll have equal spaces vertically, ok? And now all of the animations should be still present, as you can see all of the animations are still on the slide and now we should get a little bit different result and it looks awesome as well. And now my friends, using everything that you have learned so far, you'll be able to create your own custom magical PowerPoint animations. And on this slide I have applied a motion path animation, up and down, auto reverse, and at the same time I have applied a spin animation to all of these beautiful text boxes. Tutorial slides will be uploaded to my Patreon page and will be available to all of my PowerPoint hero level supporters or above. And in case you're looking for more ways to unlock the full power of PowerPoint animations, in that case I recommend watching this video where you will learn how you can create this beautiful futuristic PowerPoint animation. I'll see you there.